What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No a Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview, guys. Today, uh, today was no change of character, just a very uh, stressful grind down to have that end of day pump yesterday. I mean, a lot of you guys see uh, this wick in here, and to be honest, like on a shorter time frame chart, like a fifteen minute here, today looked bad. Today looked like before, you know. <clears throat> pretty much before that ended day pump that we had on this candle here, it looked like we were finally possibly going to start getting a correction that it seems like everybody on social media um, and every economic expert is saying that we're going to get only to just get this thing zoomed back into high. So uh, dip buying is not dead. Okay, really quickly, let's check the economic data for tomorrow. Uh, looks like at 10 a.m., one in five-year inflation expectation as well as consumer sentiment. That will definitely cause some volatility. That will definitely move the market. So be cognizant of that data coming out at that time. Pre-market data, really nothing of cause for concern. Just going to be all that data at 10 a.m. Like we said, that's 30 minutes after the market opens. Now let's zoom out to the chart here, and let me show you why I am not bearish particularly at all, because... I mean, this trend here on the daily chart, this is the ESF futures. I mean, we are just following. This is starting to look, this is really funny. This is starting to look like this. You guys seeing that? This is really starting to look like this. And now this is COVID, right? This is COVID pump. So starting to look the same way here. I mean, really, if you actually just zoom in on this section here, if you're a MA person, right? You've got the 20 MA is this green line, right? I'm going to zoom in. It's the green dotted. Okay. You've got the uh, 50 MA is the purple. I mean, really, it just followed these all the way up. Yeah. Micro dip here, staying above the 200 day moving average and then made its way up on higher. If you're an 821 person, floated with those as well. The 821 is the yellow and the red lines, right? So now if we just zoom this thing back over here right to this run we've had i mean the 20 M sma is this green line and we are just running with it all the way up so for me i'm not i'm not over here you know everyone's like well you don't you're not taking puts you're not i'm like well the market's really not telling me to the high probability trade is if you just buy the dip right notice the trend if you zoom out and you look left you'll see if you just buy the dip right but you got to be patient to do that got to be really patient to do that one other thing i want to point out here is we've made like new highs on, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candles in a row on this weekly chart. We've made new highs. Now, if we go to a daily chart, um, let's see. To me, it looks like we are possibly, as long as we hold above really 5,200, we're going to go back to highs, right? So, you could see dip got bought here, right? With some volume. Okay. So for me, as long as we stay above 5,200 on the open tomorrow, look for this rotation right back to 5,238, all the way up to 5,253. The only time that you really want to have any cause for concern is if we lose 5,190. 5,190, there is a short setup there. We can fall about 30 to 40 points. You can see 5,158. Uh, 5130 and then 5080 way down there so this will be your level you want to trade around if we are there a break a true break of this level you got about 30 points to the downside but if we hold dips here or here we're going to look to the upside okay that's es chart um let's go to the nq car nq car nq chart uh on the four hour we can start at the daily though just to see it's kind of that same thing Right, we are just plugging along. Any dips getting bought, any dips getting bought, still holding above the eight EMA, which is the yellow line right here. Okay, now if we dip down a little bit, sure, but we're pretty much the candles closing have been above that area. So for me, tomorrow, 18,163 or 18,016. You know, NQ, you've got to kind of trade in a little bit more of a, a wider range because, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you can have a 20 to 50 point swing on one five minute candle, right? So you know, this is an area of interest plus or minus about 25 points from here, right? We could dip just a little bit below it like we did on this candle, which is 30 points lower to then rip higher. So 18, 6, 18, 1, 6, 18, 1, 6. That's going to be your level to trade around tomorrow or if we can get back above pretty much 18,400. 18,400 to the upside. Okay, so trade around 18, 1, 6, 0. Oh. 
Okay, spy chart here on the four hour. You guys can see dip got bought. Very nice volume, right? Very nice volume. Look at the last time we actually had volume of this size. You can see here we had this reversal candle. Okay, you guys, I mean, look, just zoom out, look left. You guys can see 72 million on this four hour candle by itself. That's huge. I mean, we pretty much got that same amount on this one. Back here, huge candle down, and then they bought it up. So lots of volume happening here. So for me, watching five, uh, uh, 514. 514, if we open above it, look for dips into this zone at 514, okay? But how big was that 512? We talked about if you're in the Wolves Wall Discord, we said 512 is going to be a huge level. I mean, we, to the tick, went down, grabbed it, and dropped, pumped right back up. So 514, 512, those are the levels you want to trade around tomorrow underneath today's though there is a short setup very high risk but i do think 510 508 50 could be your levels uh, that you can watch the downside there if we stay above 514 target 517 518 and possibly new all-time highs um from there a uh, qqq qqq that same 436 we've been screaming 436 yes there is a massive gap on the daily here from about 433 80 all the way down to about 426 but right now, 436 is holding up. So we're going to want to watch 436 on the open. If we can open above 439, even better. I think that's even more bullish. Watch for micro dips here to make the move back to 444, 446, 448 from there. But 436 on QQQ has to hold. Last but not least, IWM. Very nice um, hammer candle here on this four-hour chart. Okay. Nice stick save, basically. So we're going to want to watch 200. We're going to want to watch this 200 area. So 199.50 to 200, right? And we're never going to trade anything exactly to the penny. If trading were that easy, we'd all just set to the penny and walk away. It'd be super easy. You just have to watch how buyers and sellers react in their respective zones, right? Their areas of interest. So for me, I'm going to want to watch this 199.50 to 200. That's basically the low of today. If we open up above 201.50, great. Watch for dips into that to hold. Up back above 203.50 really gets this thing rocking 206, 209 uh, from there. But you can see buyers are stepping in where they need to here on IWM. And last but not least, guys, we're out of all of our swings except this beautiful one right here, guys. So if you are in this swing, we called out macy's right we called out macy's and we got in on this dip pullback here so very nice action so far up above this 2130 is nice but really need to stay above 2180 let's just zoom out uh and look left here and just see the bigger levels to the upside that we just need to stay cognizant of okay so looking here up above this level we have lots of room to run up to about 22, 23 zone above. So that's where I'm going to be watching. Up above 2150, let's see if we can ride. Still holding about half of a position here. We've got about 40 to 50% on these contracts and therefore may expire. God, I love buying time, right? Make buying time great again. So many of you would just really tremendously um, see growth in your accounts if you stop focusing on things that are short dated because you're you're betting against the house that um that something needs to make a move by a specific date. If you just buy time, allow the trade to breathe, allow the trade to work out. A lot of you guys will see a lot less nerves when trading, which in turn will bring your emotional state down. It'll allow you to more than likely let a trade breathe and work out. Okay, and actually have conviction of what you're seeing and not just be freaking out once you get into a position. So M, this is a great, great, great opportunity to continue to the upside here. I'm very excited about this trade to see where it can go. Already 50% on May contracts, like I said. If you guys have anything in the comments, you guys that you know follow the channel, maybe not in the Wolves Wealth Discord, but there's something that you'd like for a swing, comment below. I'd love to see what you guys are looking at out there. Like I said, I share this stuff with you guys. So uh, you know, if not, and you just want to come and get the free info, that's fine. I mean, at least hit a like, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, guys. This, we do this every day for free. It's very appreciative that you guys come and watch. Uh, but you know, if I could just ask you one thing, like, subscribe, share it with a friend, maybe say a good thing or two if this channel has helped you at all. I appreciate you guys. Guys, you got to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.